Good morning, Blue Eagles. This is your 2014-2015 Clover Squawk crew number two. Number two. I'm Sam Edmonds. I'm Zach Beach. Nate Morrison. Rebecca Meek. And we have a few stories that we've been working on, including Nate with the parking lot. Um, my story with the freshman and Sam doing the ALS ice bucket challenge. The first story we're going to go to is with Rebecca with Dr. Hopkins about the new school year. We've been giving those out to everybody and the, the feedback I've gotten from the students so far has been excellent. And uh, I want to encourage everyone to become a take home user and take advantage of that new technology that we're offering to you this year. The new welding program, uh, which is really popular. I think we've got about 16 students that are taking advantage of that, going to Winthrop every day to earn their welding certification. Um, and a few more opportunities uh, in dual credit classes and uh, certifications through the CAKE, CAKE program. Those are probably the newest things on campus this year. There are not a lot of school districts in the state that are able to provide their students uh, laptop computers, much less nice computers like the MacBook Air, so we're really excited about that. The teachers have been working hard to learn how to use them appropriately, and we also understand we're going to learn a lot from you guys, too, in terms of how to use the technology to best fit your needs. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited about that. I think it's going to bring some, some great changes in the classroom for, for the students and the teachers. Along with the new things we have this year, we can be looking forward to more exciting things in the future. The next year we're going to look to add a couple more AP classes. We're looking at an AP Computer Science and an AP Physics. Um, but beyond that, probably the next couple of years the biggest changes are going to be uh, preparation for the opening of the Ninth Grade Academy in 2017. Um, the renovations to the football stadium that will begin after, um, after the season. Uh, and that reminded me of another neat thing, the, the new turf fields behind the school. If you hadn't seen that, go check those out. Those are pretty neat. Um, so the next couple of years are going to be exciting as well. But uh, I'm looking forward to this year, and I hope everyone has a great, a great school year this year. Thank you, Rebecca and Dr. Hopkins. That was a great story. Now we have Nate with an interview with Coach Jackson about the parking lot. Well, there's several reasons. One is that we have more and more drivers. Uh, we, we need to know where people are parked. Um, it, I think it makes it easier in and out if you know where you're going as opposed to riding around looking for a spot. And, you know, as we get bigger, um, those assigned parking spots are important to finding cars. Well, last year we had a situation where a parent came to change a car and it took about 30, 35 minutes to actually find the vehicle. So it just makes things from a management standpoint, safety standpoint, uh, a lot easier. Uh, it's $50 and then it's prorated as the year goes on. After January it, it, it goes down. It goes down $10 in increments after the first of the year and then you have to take a live at $25. Uh, most important thing is parking your spot. And if somebody's parked in your spot, don't park in the next spot. Go to one of the spots that say reserved with the R in the, in the corner and uh, tell one of the administrators out there or Mr. Skiba or, or Coach Gibson. I like that if you're late, you can get here and still have your spot. All right, well, I think that's about it. Thank you for your time today, Coach Jackson. You got it. Because if you are driving, please put your taxi and phone calls before you get behind the wheel and be careful driving home. Drive safe. Thanks, Nate. That was a really good story. Thank you. All right, but now we have a story on the freshman with Zach Beach and how they feel about the new school year.
how be it is? Um, having like classes in different places and not having a walk like in straight lines. Nitu, what are you doing? I'm scared. Of what? Water. Why are you scared of water? People who's doing the ice bucket challenge and I don't want to get nominated. Here's Sam. I was challenged by Dylan White to do it no more than a week ago. I've been challenged by Tanner Griffith. I did, actually. And I ended up having to do it twice, so. Doing the ice bucket challenge really isn't help actually helping anything. Like, money would help. A lot of my family has actually done it and they've all donated about $10 per family member. And I think it's a good way to spread awareness and to get the community to know what it's about and how the benefits and bad things are about it, so. That's good, especially for people like me who have no money to pay for the donations. Hey, if any of y'all see Nate? Yeah. Nate, you can come out now. Is the coast clear? Yeah, it's clear. Are you sure? Yeah. Alright. Well, hopefully y'all enjoyed our episode of the Clover Squawk, episode number one. And we'll see you next time. Signing off, I'm Sam Edmonds. I'm Zach Beach. I'm going back and hiding. And I'm Rebecca.